Bloodhound Detective Agency, whenever there's trouble, we're there on the double. Mr. Bloodhound isn't here. Yes? Yes, Dr. Escobar. Right. Sorry, Zach, but we're in a hurry. How about a rematch? You sure about five minutes. Let's go! Where are we going? High Tower Laboratory. Birdseed. Stolen. I think that's what she said. Birdseed? Yeah, it worth a hundred times its weight in gold. I don't believe it. Not bird seed, hybrid seed. Dr. Escobar, are they really worth a hundred times their weight in gold? Oh, much more. This is a super strain of wheat. There was a fire, and only a few grains were saved. The entire world's supply has been locked up here. Is a hybrid something like a mongrel dog? I'll show you. This grain is small. It's a poor producer, but it can grow in a very dry area. Now, this is a strain of wheat. That produces heavy crops, but it needs lots of rain. Now, using these as parents, we bred offspring. Some of them inherited the best qualities of both. But it took many generations to produce a hybrid seed that thrives in areas too dry to grow large crops now. This will help feed thousands of hungry people around the world. I've had this lock changed. The question is, how did the thief get the seeds out of this building? Security is very tight in this laboratory. Some of our work is top secret. All of our employees must undergo a search before leaving for the day. Not even a scrap of paper could slip through. Follow me to my office. of a new lock if the super seed has already been stolen. The thief made a mistake. Must have misunderstood the labeling. One of the parent seeds was stolen, not the final hybrid. I've just had this letter from a colleague in London. Someone using the code name Mr. Q has been in touch with various foreign interests. Spies? Agricultural spies, perhaps. This Mr. Q has offered to obtain for future delivery a super strain of wheat to the highest bidder. Your seeds. Apparently, this Mr. Q is very clever and daring. We think that somehow he's worked his way into our laboratory, perhaps as a lab technician or an assistant. No, oh, excuse me. What is it, Mr. Booster? Uh, Dr. Escobar, is it okay if I skip the general staff meeting at 11 o'clock? I have a dental appointment. Okay. Isn't Mr. Q apt to strike again if he got the wrong seed? He'd be a fool to risk it. I've alerted all security people, and I have the only key to the new padlock. If he does try it, I'm hoping that you'll unmask our Mr. Q. If he was not entirely familiar with the labeling of the seeds, he may be new here. Could we have a look in your personnel files? Downstairs. I'll let them know you're coming. Dr. Escobar, do you use birds in any of this laboratory work? Birds? No. Is there anyone here who might be an expert on birds? You might try Einstein. 
I thought he was dead. No, Dr. Jonathan Einstein. He's in genetics down the hall. I believe he's a bird watcher. What's all this stuff about birds? Are you in a different case? I found this in a lab. It could be a clue, couldn't it? The feather is certainly out of place in that laboratory. You could have something there, Zach. How do we know we can trust Dr. Einstein? We don't. I'll go to personnel and see how long he's been here. We'll also need a list of anyone who's been here less than six months. Kids, this is definitely a feather. Oh, we kind of figured that. Well, it's a pigeon's feather. Is that all? A common pigeon? I guess it's nothing, Vicky. Common? Nothing? Do I hear you putting down that noble bird for 3,000 years? Pigeons have served as messengers in times of war. The mystery is, how do they do it? Do what? What? Navigate, navigate. Day or night, night or day, foul weather affair, they always find their way home. Oh, oh, it's a riddle to be solved. Well, thanks a lot, Dr. Einstein, but I'm afraid it doesn't solve our riddle. <laughs> huh? Riddle? Or does it? Has Vicky found the answer? Find out tomorrow in the conclusion of The Case of Mr. Q.